Hey everybody, welcome back to this channel. This is Killot404. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire information. Uh, before I get into the information, I just want to remind you guys to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I am a Nintendo YouTuber and I play a lot of Wii U and 3DS games. So if you like that sort of stuff, please do subscribe and also to uh, please follow me on my Twitter page. I will be doing a special playthrough of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire when those games do come out. Uh, no details right now, I will reveal those details at a later date, but also in addition in the meantime, I will be playing through Pokemon Emerald to remind ourselves uh, why Generation 3 was so awesome in addition to making more videos uh, discussing what I really want to see in these remakes of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. So if that all sounds good, please subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I'm sure you will not regret those decisions. So now, let's get into the new information that was revealed today and yesterday. Uh, for these games, of course, let's talk about the new trailers and the new artwork that were shown. So right now I'm going to be posting the trailers right now so you can see on screen all the new trailers, all the new action of the game, in addition to the beautiful artwork that was shown for this game. If you guys didn't know already, there was actually an official website that just opened up for these games and it just showed a bunch of great uh, official art assets in addition uh, to actual in-game shots so we actually get to see a sneak peek of what the game will actually look like. Uh, that's where I got all these pictures from and I will be putting them in sort of a collage format right now on screen so you can see all the beautiful artwork that was shown for this game and I just must say though that the artwork, the art style in this game looks fantastic. You can really see how you know there's been this big breath of life that's been introduced into the Hoenn region and as shown of course in this beautiful artwork. We see Brendan, we see May, the new characters look awesome, the landscapes look fantastic and Remember, the Hoenn region is such a diverse region. There's so many different areas in the game that look so beautiful. The, the sea, the land, the beaches, the mountains, the city, uh, the underwater portions of the game, the volcano in the game. It just looks really awesome, kind of rendered in this new game engine. And of course, you know, we see different characters. We see Archie, Maxi. Let me say Team Aqua and Team Magma look fantastic in this game. Steven Stone also looks really fly, really fantastic. And I'm sure he's going to be, you know, revealing a lot of different mega evolution theories to us in the game as well. In addition to, of course, all the different battle scenes and the different Pokemon. Just in general, you know, the art assets in this game look fantastic. And I definitely can't wait to get my hands on this to see all the, all the older, you know, all the old places in the game kind of remade into this new uh, engine to see how they look in the new game so that's going to be fantastic so you know the pictures kind of speak for themselves i'm going to be putting them on screen but let me talk more importantly about the new information that i think is more important which is of course the new mega evolutions and of course the new pokemon that have been confirmed to be in pokemon omega ruby and alpha sapphire some really great choices in my opinion that game freak put into this game so now of course we have already some confirmation about the new mega evolution starters in this game there will be mega swampert mega skeptile and mega blaziken a mega swampert will have have the Swift Swim ability, which is kind of cool. He looks really buff, really fantastic. If you guys didn't know, Swampert is my favorite Pokemon, and I'm very, very likely going to be picking Swampert or Mudkip uh, as my first Pokemon in the game. So that's kind of cool. He looks really strong, and like I said, he does have the Swift Swim ability. A uh, Skeptile is part Dragon now, and also has the Lightning Rod ability, which is kind of cool. And also, too, we already know because he's been in Pokemon X and Y, we have Blaze again. Uh, when he Mega Evolves, he gets the Speed Boost ability, so that's kind of cool. The new Pokemon, though, that have been revealed are Mega. Mega Sableye and Mega Diancie. Sableye Mega Evolves with a special jewel that, that is found in this game. He also fights with a very big jewel, so that's also kind of cool. And also we have Mega Diancie. Information on actually getting the regular Diancie will be coming later on in Pokemon XY, but just remember as well that there will be a Mega Evolution form of Diancie uh, in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, so that's kind of cool. But now, even more important than these other Mega Evolutions are uh, the new Mega Evolution, so to speak, of Groudon and Kyogre. But the important thing is that they're actually not being called Mega Evolutions. They're being called Primal versions of these Pokemon. They're being called Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre. Primal Groudon, it's part fire and he also has a boosted ability which is likely going to be even better than his ability to kind of raise the sun and bring sunlight into the game. Uh, in addition as well, Primal Kyogre will also have a boosted ability. But let me go back to the whole Primal discussion and I just want to say it's really interesting that they're, be they're being called Primal instead of Mega. They're not Mega Groudon or Mega Kyogre, they're Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre. So that kind of suggests that there might be different ways to change Pokemon in-game, not only just Mega Evolution, you know what I'm saying? They might even uh, be able to change by Primal Reversion, so to speak, what they're going to be called in-game. They're going to be called Primal Reversions, where they revert back to their Primal forms of uh, Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon. Of course, we don't know how to do this. It's likely going to be confirmed in-game through the storyline and so on and so forth. 
like I said, it's just really interesting that they're not being called Mega Evolutions, they're called Primal Versions, Primal Kyogre, and Primal Groudon, and maybe we'll find Primal Stones, you know, in addition to Mega Stones in the game, so, you know, that's pretty much it. So far, great information, the game is looking fantastic, I cannot wait to play this, and I'll be sticking by on this YouTube channel with some more information as they come along. My name is Killout404, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.